Hello. So in this video we are going to learn about freeze dryer. So these are the contents that we are going to cover up in this video. So this is the introduction as you can see. The freeze dryer does freezing and has important applications in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries. Freeze drying is now a standard process used to stabilize, store or increase the shelf life of drug and other biological products. So here comes the principle of freeze drying. So it is based upon the process lyophilization. So what is lyophilization? So lyophilization or also known as cryodesiccation is a process of dehydration which involves the dehydration in low temperature and low pressure and this causes the removal of ice by sublimation. So what happens as first comes in our mind that in drying what happens the moisture in our in our material is dried and it is converted to ice by the low temperature and then applying low pressure that ice gets sublimized to its gaseous form that is the vapor state. So here comes the diagrammatic representation of our freeze dryer. So first of all there is a door when we will open the door we will see some plates stacked upon one another on which we can place our samples. These plates are perforated why perforated i will tell just right now so at the base of this drying chamber there is a heating system so this heating system releases hot air and there is a fan rotating here so this fan causes what it circulates the whole hot air in a uniform manner inside this chamber as i have told you there are perforations present on these plates so there are perforations on these plates but why do we need that? So what you are seeing right now is the side view of this whole chamber. So from the top the plate looks like this and these are the perforations on the plates. So why do we need these perforations? So at the bottom of this chamber there is a heating system and from this heating system hot air comes up for drying. So this hot air needs to be circulated throughout this heating chamber properly. So it has to rip even the top plate very well. So we need this perforation so that this hot air can pass through these perforations and reach up to the top plate and dry the whole chamber in a uniform manner. So that the drying process become efficient. But that not happens at the beginning. So from at the beginning what happens that there is a refrigerator unit which works first. So there is a sample placed above the plate and the refrigerator unit does what? It decreases the temperature at about minus 20 degrees centigrade which is very low temperature. So at this temperature the moisture content present in our sample becomes ice. So it con freezes and converts into ice. Now there is a vacuum pump, so this vacuum pump does what? It decreases the pressure and then heating system is turned on. So what happened that first of all we decrease the temperature using this refrigerator unit up to minus 20 degrees centigrade. So at that point all the moisture content inside our sample converted to ice. Then we turned on the vacuum pump which causes what it it decreased the pressure inside this drying chamber then heat is applied so when at a low pressure heat is applied when temperature is increased then it causes sublimation so the ice at the surface of our sample got sublimized to vapor so it converted from the solid ice to a vapor state so this sublimation occurred due to the low pressure and a little bit high temperature so now this vapor is collected in this ice condenser where it is again converted back into ice from the vapor state now the solid ice is removed using this drainage system so what happened from the beginning that there is a refrigerator unit which, dec which decreased the temperature at a very low temperature where all the moisture content in our sample 
got freezed and converted to ice. Then the vacuum pump is turned on which decreases the pressure and then the heating system is turned on. So now it is called the primary heating. So this primary heating does what? It increases the temperature gradually and with increasing temperature at a low pressure sublimation occurs which converts the ice present on our sample to vapor and this vapor is collected by this ice condenser and it converted it into solid ice and it is drained out through this outlet. Here comes the procedure of freeze drying. So the first stage is the pre-freezing. So at this stage the material is frozen at very low temperature that is minus 20 degrees celsius to minus 30 degrees celsius. So the second stage is the vacuum. So at this stage the vacuum pump is used to reduce the pressure inside the chamber. Now comes the primary drying. So we already achieved low pressure by applying the vacuum. Now in primary drying we have to increase the temperature inside the chamber. So what will happen due to this? So due to this sublimation will occur. So you can see there is a graph here. So this graph is pressure versus temperature graph and this point is called the triplet point. So if we take the triplet point as our reference, so if we draw a line against the pressure, so below this pressure if we apply temperature the solid will convert to the vapor phase. So by this pressure temperature graph it can be clear that below a certain pressure if we apply temperature our substance will sublimize from the solid state here it is ice to the vapor state and now this vapor reaches the condenser that is the ice condenser which is a separate unit from the chamber from the drying chamber so it is a separate unit where the vapor reaches and again condenses back to its frozen ice so the vapor is again converted to solid ice at a separate chamber which is known as the condenser and this frozen ice that is solid is very much easy to be removed by the outlet. So this is how we can achieve drying that is the removal of water from our substance maybe it can be drug or any biological product. So this is our last step that is the secondary drying. So here we increase the temperature gradually up to 50 degrees celsius not more than that as we are dealing with heat sensitive products so it might get degraded. So what we can do we can increase the temperature up to a certain value where the product doesn't get destroyed. So we are doing this to extract almost all remaining bound moisture from the product. See 100% drying is not possible. We cannot remove 100% of moisture from any product. That is the universal truth. But we can try to achieve as much as possible we can. So gradually increasing temperature up to 50 degrees Celsius, not more than that. So this is the threshold value. If we increase temperature above 50 degrees Celsius, then it can damage our product because they are heat sensitive. So here comes the purpose and use of freeze drying. So in your mind question can arise that why we are using this freeze drying instead we can apply heat and extract all the moisture from our product. Maybe it is a drug or any biological product. So we can apply heat. So why not we are using heat to extract all the moisture from our substance. So what happens that there are certain substances, some drugs, some biological products which are very much heat sensitive. That means at higher temperature these substances, these drugs, these biological products will degrade and we will lose their quality. So what we can do, we can freeze dry those things and still attain the same goal. So products like vaccine, antibiotics, penicillin, blood plasma, protein enzymes, hormones, all these things are freeze dried because they are heat sensitive. 
so these are the advantages of freeze drying technique so the main advantage of freeze drying technique is that now we can dry up the drugs which are heat sensitive and here are the disadvantages so the main disadvantage of this process is that it is very much costly so the whole process of freeze drying is very much expensive and difficult to maintain so this was the brief explanation about the freeze drying technique and the freeze dryer so as i have promised you i will show you some calculations regarding the suppositories in the next video i will try it soon so till then thank you for watching stay healthy bye Thank <laughs> you.